So, as you guys saw in the intro, uh, you can't starve to death with the server. <laughs> hey, Cinebox. Hello. Hello. Um, I, I'm a poor, sad man in my base. I'm sort of confused why you're trying to starve to death. I, so, here was the plan. I didn't... I wanted to get... The, I need to get the villagers out of their mine carts. But I didn't okay. want to get myself out because they might sneak out and escape. And I lose my mind. So I'm like, well, what's one way I can break them out of the mine carts, and just go in there and just die? That was my plan. So hmm. I said, well, the easiest way to do that is just starve to death. Uh, unfortunately, okay. um, apparently you can't spawn, to, you can't starve to death. So here I am. Yeah, the the server set on normal. Yeah. You can only starve on hard, I think. So here I am. Uh, I have nothing on me. I'm just sitting in the village room spot. And I can't break out because I don't have blocks or anything, so they just run after me. So I can't leave. <laughs> so the only way is when you guys come and murder me. So this is an interesting predicament you find yourself This is a do. very interesting predicament. <laughs> I am recording, <laughs> so this is this is this is gonna be preserved. The iron golem spawner was working for a while. Now they're not spawning. If they're not spawning anywhere. They're not supposed to. Is there maybe some kind of like cap or something? I don't know. I, I don't know anything about new iron farm mechanics. Is it because I'm in here? I have no idea. It was working for a while with them in minecarts. But then I thought maybe it stopped working at night time because I couldn't get into beds. What's your coordinates again? Um, you can go to four. Uh, are you at four tains? Yeah, I'm at four tains. I'm at four seventy two negative four sixty one somewhere around there. You can either go down the lighthouse or if you have silk touch, you can break in the roof and. Oh, maybe not the roof. Break in the side. That might cause a mess. <laughs> <laughs> This was so... I wanted to scream at all these the, the villagers. It was awful. And then, in the middle of it all, I had like one block of scaffolding left and an iron golem spawned on top of it. So I had to kill him. <laughs> and I, I was just losing my mind. Because you have to slab off everything for this design. So they don't spawn. Alright, I've found your lighthouse. Yeah, you can either go all the way down or swim like you've done the past. I know you gave me that second skeleton horse. I never saw him die, but I don't know where he is. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I, I didn't kill him. Oh no, what if you... You're, you're in the villager, reader. Oh, you're, you're purling everywhere. Okay, all you need to do, if you don't have silk touch, there's one in the chest over... I have silk touch. Over yonder to break it or replace the glass. All right, uh, do it. Hmm. Whatever method. Oh, <laughs> with the water bucket. Uh, the glass dropped inside the thing. I'll uh, just enter pearl in. There we go. I have plenty of glass, but thank you. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no, there's a golem in there. Oh no. How did that happen? What? Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, we need to... S okay, hold on. We need to put slabs up on the roof inside there. Do you, do you see? Here, since it's... you can... <laughs> since you can ender pearl in there... I have three ender pearls left. <laughs> your job uh, is to right over the barrels, that row... On, on top of the barrels? On, no, on top of the roof, so they don't have enough spawn height to spawn in. Okay, so make it only like two and a half tall. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I have more ender pearls on me. I do. Okay, that's good. Back <laughs> oh up So just like same oh, hay. No. And <laughs> okay. I can't place this iron golem. 
Oh no, you might have to finish him off. He's almost he's, dead. He's, oh, he's he almost dead. They, they are so tanky. I've okay, just. I don't want. Like, I'm afraid if I hit him, I might hit the villagers. Yeah, no, that I killed a villager earlier. Yeah. Okay, this is our life now. Wait until the iron. Okay, we did there it. We, we did it. We did it. Okay. Uh, okay, get out. There we go. Everything's fine. We're all good. Oh my god. <laughs> Where was that in your tutorial? <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Thank you very much. I think I think no I'm problem. done for today. Hopefully this thing works. <laughs> Good lord. Here, while I'm with you, have a gift. I've been farming honey forever. Oh, I think it's working. Oh, nice! I tried to find some bees earlier, I didn't find any. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Just where did you go? Hand. Or you can give me a delivery of a beehive. Um, there's a bunch around spawn town. I've okay. been just, like, going around raiding them. Well, it seems, it seems like it's working again. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Oh yeah, my, my stone slabs. Alright, thank you for coming to save me. I'm gonna get off No and, problem. Um, scream. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Far Later server. I hope you enjoyed that intro with Cinnabux. Um, don't have a lot in my inventory. Uh, that's because he killed me, if you were there. Ooh! So here, let me go to the old iron farm chest and go get my stuff. are my things that goes there here we are what else do I need I need blocks of course I mean, I don't need, need anything else that's in there, really. I mean, mistake. Gave me that honey, if you remember saying. So! We have done it. We have built what all indications appear to be a working iron golem farm. Although, if a new one spawned, that would make me very happy. So, how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. I use a tutorial from a guy whose name I'm forgetting, but I'll put in the description of the video. It's like the Scouser or something? Um, yeah, it was a pretty small channel. The video had like 25,000 views, but it didn't even have a thousand subscribers. I liked it because didn't require any floating in the air, it was honest about you need to slab off all this area, which is now unable to be used for anything else. So, that's fun. But chose a good location to put it in. So what, how does it work? Well, I don't want to pillar up because then a golem might suddenly spawn. A place where he shouldn't spawn. Which is maybe what's happening right now. I don't like how long it's taking for another gold to spawn. But there is a hopper clock up there that opens and closes the window, showing our fair zombie Gonzo. And theoretically, every time that opens, a golem is supposed to spawn. And it's been having some long stretches of working and not working, but Shota is working. There you go. Already got a stack of iron ingots. Of course, um, it's having performance anxiety right now. But yeah, so this is what we're gonna do with the iron farm. If it really is not working for a while, it's gonna be sad. Sad, sad, sad. Is it trying to spawn in here again? Last time, I think it was because of those slabs. Is it trying to spawn on the beds? The golem. I want to. I want to slab up above the beds. Can't spawn in there because of interference. 
So I slapped off. I had to go ahead and fill in this area of the cave so we no golem spawns there. Come on, man. This farm was working incredibly. Absolutely killing me right now. Yeah, last time this was because it seemed like a golem was trying to spawn in a place that he was being blocked from being able to spawn. And that's what was stopping the whole deal. Well. Great. So today we're just going to clean up the remains of the previous iron farm here. So, you know, life is continuing here in quarantine, you know. Walk the dog today, first time out of the house in a few days, we're all rotating walking the dog. You know, more people outside than you'd expect in a typical Wednesday. Everybody's staying home. You know, there are some NFL free agencies going on, most notably, uh, Everyone's least favorite uh, football player, Tom Brady, leaving the evil New England Patriots and joining the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's, you know, weird and wacky. Everyone keeps thinking he's going to be great at 43 years old, which I say, I'll believe it when I see it. And I don't see it right now. So it'll be a weird world having a new quarterback out there for the Patriots. But it's the future that we've been we've been praying for for a long time. That makes me happy. That iron farm is sticking in it's sticking in my craw that it's not not currently working. It's making me upset. Quite displeased. So well, Iron Farm. So that's going on. I keep wondering when I feel like an inevitable shelter in place order is going to come. You know, Colorado's reporting a lot of cases here. You know, when my friends first told, I think they're like, go to the mountains. No, the mountains are the bad place right now. You know, one county essentially is just shut down. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. You know, you read about like wartime and World War One and World War Two and all the weird things, and you're like, "Well, I'm glad that's a thing in the past." But this is kind of kind of similar, kind of similar. So, unfortunately, we don't have a very competent government here in the United States right now. Although my state has a competent government, so. It at least. Yeah, it's just, just a whole big mess. And, you know, I was listening to a podcast about how meaningful sports are to a lot of people. I actually got, that was the first thing that made me pretty depressed about the slack of sports, you know. Classic Doctor Who can only sustain me for so long, you know. Sports are fun and great, and a great way to pass the time, and now they're gone. Now they're gone. It's the right thing to do, but it's sad. You know, sports didn't stop during the World Wars. Probably should have stopped during the Spanish flu, but people were dumb back then, so. You know, people calling it the Chinese flu or just embarrassing themselves. I mean, that's all it, all, all it really comes down to. And then I really call it the Spanish flu. What did they to do with Spain? And maybe we can be a little less, you know, racist a hundred years later, right? It's not like China is, you know, 
invented a bio lab. I mean, that's the conspiracy that some people have. And what I say is, you know, the same thing that are conspiracies, you know. A lot more people would be comforted and reassured if this was, you know, a man-made... We were some people out there were responsible for this. But, you know, life is, uh, it's, it's a lot messier than that, you know? This is um, more likely just a random, random event, you know? And that's how a lot of life happens. There's no conspiracies or no people behind it all. It's just, just a big old mess. So that's where we're currently at. Big ol' mess territory. Oh yes! Ah! It happened. There you go. So, what really made me rage during this was moving the villagers, killing the villagers. I accidentally killed one of the villagers having to kill the iron golem. And... And yeah, so moving the villagers in was frustrating, but I managed to keep them all in in minecarts. So it worked because they went to bed. Gotta reset it. Okay. So, not perfect, but seems acceptable for my uses. Yeah, and getting the villagers in there, frustrating, hated it. Uh, twice Iron Golem spawned like one little non half slab block that I had left. And that was really frustrating. Like, I had one little, like, pillar that I used to climb up there and then half slab on it. The golem spawned directly in that pillar. So I killed two golems. And then, of course, the coup de gras, which you saw in Cinnabugs in the end of the episode, was going in there to break all their minecarts so they could get to the beds. And I figured I'd just starve myself to death. You know, my third death on the server. Felt like that'd be a fitting way to go. You know, lose some levels, but we have an ender ender, so who cares about levels? And that all seemed like it was good until I found out I, I wasn't able to starve to death. The main thing is I was so terrified of me getting the villagers out of my carts and then them running like the dickens all the way out of where they were supposed to be. You know, cinema, I could have you know, thought about ender pearling through like a little one block window, but I didn't really think about that. Um, it created some good content, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Dropped a poppy. Oh, there you go. And three iron. So it works. Makes me happy. So you're now asking yourself, what is next? We have the carrot farm slash villager breeder. There it is. We have the iron farm. Well, it's more villager-laid stuff, and this area over here is going to be home to a sugar farm. You maybe ask yourself, a sugar cane farm, you maybe ask yourself, but why? Why would you want a sugar cane farm? Are you going to get into lava? There he goes. Well, it's the reason I have all these lecterns. I am in the business of making librarians. The reason I want to make librarians is I want to get a men one with a mending book trade, and that is going to require tons and tons of paper, among other things, in order to trade with them. So yeah, that's what's going to be next, Sugarcane Farm. So I'm going to build one via a tutorial, hopefully a fully most automated one possible. So that will go here. Uh, at some point, I might 
you know, add more levels to this villager breeder and just have, uh, you know, a, a farmer going up and farming potatoes and wheat and beets and all other kinds of crops for me. So, you know, hopefully we'll grow that up to the ceiling. So, yeah, sugarcane farm. That is what's next on the docket, and then it'll be somehow figuring out what to do with these here boys, and trading with all the librarians we can, and it might require some villager murder, it might be a lot of villager murder, and I don't really feel too bad about it after the hell that they put me through in making this iron arm, so I'm surprised that one's still a librarian. There's four barrels in there that are getting under job. So yeah, that's that's the state the state state of this project. So you know, online classes will start up next week. But I still plan on doing uh, more con here because you know, no sports, nothing nothing to watch. So. Yeah. Living the quarantine life. So hopefully we'll be able to organize all this. This has got crazily out of hand. So yeah, I'd like to thank Cinelux for coming to rescue me. I'd like to thank the guy whose name I put in the description for this iron farm that actually seems to consistently work and does not have iron golems spawning in places where they shouldn't because he has the dimensions correct for the area it needs to be slabbed off. Yeah, of course it took out the dark rooms over here, not need those anymore. So yeah, that is our, our situation. Very cool. Working iron farm. Be happy. Okay. Bye.